The Supra features two driving modes, Normal and Sport. Normal is the default driving mode when the Supra is first turned on. In this mode, the powertrain, steering, and suspension settings are set to balance dynamic and efficient driving. When in Sport mode, Supra's systems are tuned for more responsive driving by optimizing its powertrain characteristics and chassis settings. Sport mode is selected by pressing the Sport button located on the center console. When selected, an indicator illuminates in the instrument cluster. Sport mode settings can be customized via Toyota Supra command. To customize Sport mode, press the Toyota Supra command interface to call up the main menu and scroll to the My Vehicle menu. Select Vehicle Settings, then Configure Sport Individual. Settings for engine characteristics, automatic transmission, adaptive variable suspension, and steering can be adjusted. Or these settings can be returned to Sport Standard. Traction Mode modifies the traction control operation for special road conditions. Traction Mode is part of the Vehicle Stability Control System. When selected, it provides enhanced track driving capability by reducing intervention of the traction and stability control functions. It can also be used to optimize forward motion in certain situations. Traction Mode is activated by pressing the VSC OFF button on the center console. When Traction Mode is turned on, traction is displayed in the instrument cluster and the VSC OFF indicator illuminates. Press the VSC OFF button again to deactivate traction mode. The indicators turn off in the instrument cluster. Launch control provides powerful controlled acceleration. It is not intended for use on public roads. The engine must be running to activate launch control. Put the Supra into sport mode and then press the VSC OFF button to activate traction mode. The traction and the VSC OFF indicators will illuminate in the instrument cluster. Firmly depress the brake pedal with the left foot and select Drive with the shift lever. Then fully depress the accelerator with the right foot. A flag symbol will appear in the instrument cluster to indicate when the engine speed has reached the proper level. Once the flag symbol appears, release the brake within 3 seconds. After using launch control, it is important that the transmission be allowed to cool down for at least 5 minutes before using launch control again. When finished with launch control, remember to activate the vehicle stability control system again. Refer to the owner's manual for more details.